What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Micah Daniels. Welcome to Pantheon U Entertainment. Have you guys ever wondered why society over-sexualizes everything and then punishes people for being overtly sexual? Isn't that a little bit confusing? I thought so too. As I was looking for interesting things to talk about for the show, a concept popped into my head and it was, why are we so sexual as a society? And in general, why do we promote that to our youth? And that's what the topic for tonight is gonna to be. Over-sexualization of the youth and how that translates into adulthood and affects you on the back burner. So as I was looking into this, I came across a show that you guys might be familiar with called Toddlers and Tiaras that allowed a three-year-old girl to dress up like the hooker from Pretty Woman. And guess what? She won first place. Your sweet little baby girl is all three damn years old. Why the hell are you dressing her up like a hooker? For a beauty pageant or in any capacity? Are you kidding? The fact that shows like this even exist and that you let your children participate in it baffles me. But what are you teaching her as a parent? Think about that lesson. You dress up like a hooker and you win first place. You guys really set her life goals kind of high. I wonder what you have planned for her for the future. Now that we've covered the toddler age group, let's move forward a couple years from the ages of six to 14, which is normally the demographic for the show Dance Moms, which to give you a little bit of insight, is a bunch of women trying to project their dreams onto their daughters. So as I'm watching a clip from this show, and I do believe it's season one, episode one, they have these little girls dressed up like burlesque dancers. And they're up there doing dance moves on the stage that will make the ladies from the music video Moulin Rouge blush if they had to perform that shit live. What are we teaching the youth today? Are we really telling them that sex sells? Are we teaching them that their morals are okay to be compromised as long as the price is right? Hell no, y'all better get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Let me bring this all together for you guys. The media pushes a sexual agenda on the youth, which in turn allows them to think that it's okay to grow up way too fast. And they wind up getting caught up into things that they're not prepared for. That's why we have babies having babies. And that's why we have grandparents that are 30 years old. Do you guys not see a problem with the way society is moving? The actions and steps that we're taking? <laughs> The funniest thing to me, and probably the worst part about all of this is, after these kids reach a certain age, society shuns them for that same overt sexual behavior that has been promoted and instilled in them their whole life. And they don't understand when you try to sit them down and correct them, or when you tell them that their behavior is wrong, because this is all they know. It's all they've been taught, from the music they listen to, to the TV they watch, and then as soon as something happens, like a Kim Kardashian-like sex tape about them leaks, that's when society wants to be outraged. That's when everybody wants to get mad and call them a thought or a hoe. And I just wonder, where were you the whole time? You weren't around when they were on Dance Moms, dancing like bur burlesque strippers. When they were 10 and 13, you weren't there then. You were promoting it. You were telling them it's okay. And I, I just find it sad that the same things that they wound up loving you for turns out to be the same thing they hate you for. I guess it's like they said in Batman, either you live long enough to see yourself become the villain or you die the hero. As usual, we're gonna segue into the advice portion of the show to wrap it up, but I feel like the topic tonight was so important and it's so compelling that the advice should directly relate to the topic. So my advice out there tonight is to all the parents. If you are not involved in what's going on in your child's life, if you don't know what they're watching on TV, what type of music they're listening to, then you're dead ass wrong. You're dead ass wrong. And I'm sorry I gotta call a spade a spade on this one. Y'all know how I am. Children are our future. You know, they, they sit here, like Tupac said, they say there's no hope for the youth, but the truth is there's no hope for the future because the future is about our youth. So in parting, please make sure you start making a difference. Go back, give back to your community. Give back to the youth center. 4-H, give your time. And if you don't have any children, these are things you should be doing. If you do have children, I shouldn't have to tell you this. If I do, maybe you need to look in the mirror. A spade's always a spade. 
As I said before, a rose by any other name is still a rose.